I want to begin with where we are right now in the pandemic, right? You saw New York City yesterday had a large celebration for reaching 70% of vaccinations. During the whole pandemic, you were very close with the governors of Connecticut and New York. Are those conversations still happening? Is New Jersey going to have some sort of big celebration? One thing you learn in a pandemic, no matter what you do within your four walls, it really matters what your neighbors are doing. And, and they've done a terrific job. Uh, and so the answer is yes. Uh, in terms of celebration, I'm not sure, but we're bearing down on 4.7 million of at all adults completely fully vaccinated. In terms of percentages, right? Because I think people are listening to a 70% yep. yep. mark. What does that mean in terms of vaccinated versus unvaccinated in New Jersey? It's 70% of our adults fully vaccinated. So not just one shot, okay. but two shots. Uh, and we're not going to stop there. Uh, in particular, in black and brown communities, mm -hmm. we still have work to do. And, and we will stay at it. Everything from knocking on doors to contests to other incentives will stay out there. I want to talk about the reopening, right, and getting people back to work. Yeah. There are a lot of people who are saying, I don't want to go back to work. I don't need to go back to work. But there is also this idea of employers needing their employees back in a building. Some places around the country offering incentives to get people back to work. Is there a plan to incentivize people to go back to an office? Yeah, listen, I think we're open minded to that. I think the incentive that you're seeing, frankly, at the at the grassroots level, are businesses paying up uh, in their wages to get people to come in uh, and, and you're seeing a fair amount of that. So when you say you're open to the idea, what are some of the ideas? Well, you know, Congressman Gottheimer raised the notion of trying to use some some federal money to mm -hmm. basically put uh, a, a re-signing bonus uh, uh, up for, for folks. I'm not sure that necessarily uh, I'm intrigued by that. I'm open minded to it, but things like that. I think what you're going to see more often than not is you're going to see the business pay more for labor mm -hmm. and pass that on to the consumer, which is why we're seeing some of the inflation that we're seeing. Folks are paying more because it's costing the, the small business more to get them. Right. And so that's my next question. Small business is obviously struggling. They want their workers back and they want to pay them more yep. to be able to bring them back. Some of that federal aid, $10.1 billion in, in, in surplus that the state of New Jersey has. Will some of that be going to help the struggling business? No question. There's no question about that. I would expect you'll see significant investment in our public health infrastructure. Uh, as, we, as we mentioned, small businesses. Uh, we want to make sure we take care of the folks who have hurt the most, folks who are in arrears on utility payments, rent, mortgage. Mm -hmm. Uh, schools and improving their infrastructure like HVAC systems. Yeah. A lot of parents focus on September and what that means for 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 their uh, for their kids. You said all students will be back in person Monday through Friday. If a parent does not want to vaccinate their child when the vaccines are available for those under 12, what does that parent do with their child? Well, they got to go to school um, and I would just plead with them to vaccinate their, their child. Now remember, there's no vaccine for anyone under 12 years old right now that's authorized right. for anybody. Uh, and I think the 12 to 15 year olds have been out there for four or five weeks and that's going well. But the message is you got to get back to school. So, We're not going to put anyone's life at risk if there's a real health uh, ch challenge, obviously. We never have, we never will. Will students be wearing masks in the classroom? I hope September? not, but it's too early to make that call. And the good news about that call is you can make that the night before school starts, oh, yeah. unlike an HVAC system right. or uh, or plexiglass or other uh, social distancing. That's a call we can, time is on the clock. I hope we don't have to, uh, and, and but we'll, we will see over the course of the summer. Being a Jersey resident now myself, uh, property taxes, some of the highest in the country. Yep. A lot of people struggling financially. Do you plan to keep taxes the same long term? Is there a plan to raise taxes? Oh, no, no, there's no, there's, we've got a budget with not one dollar of new taxes, and our objective is to make New Jersey more affordable and not less. In fact, I think three of the of the top five years of lowest property tax increases have been the first three years of our administration. You get a lot back for living in New Jersey, uh, but we want to make sure what folks pay is fair. Yeah. And then we inherited a mess. It's going to take time. We're making progress, but we're not there yet. Looking ahead, where do you see New Jersey in a year? I think in very strong shape. Um, you know, we've paid an enormous price here, over 26,000 losses of life. And, and that's something we'll never get over. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's never, we, we can never forget that. Having said that, um, I think our economy is, you're seeing it right now, is beginning to snap back the budget that we're negotiating, the federal money, the incentives package that I signed in January, which is now coming to, to four. The big challenge for us, I believe, not just a year, but 
over the next number of years is going to be addressing the inequities that this pandemic did not create but laid bare. Right. Uh, and that's the that's going to be the biggest challenge. In other words, we're not we can't snap back to where we were. We got to snap back to a place that we've never been before. Governor, I want to talk about some lighter topics, right? And of course, one of them being the reopening and celebration. We're entering the summer, yep. Jersey Shore. Yeah. Best shore along the eastern seaboard here. What is the Jersey Shore going to look like? Because I think a lot of people haven't been in quite some time. It's going to be wide open. Uh, it's going to be a great summer. Uh, people are dying to get out there and sort of unburden themselves. Yep. And there's no better place, never mind in our state, I'd, I'd say on the East Coast, if not the country, than the Jersey Shore to do that. Now, the rides, the amusements, the, uh, the arcade games, right? A lot of people worried about COVID, touching things, things you're, like that. You're wide open. Wide you're open. wide open. Uh, absolutely. Again, if you're not vaccinated, I'm begging you, please do the right thing. Yep. And most importantly, get vaccinated. But we're wide open. Now, are you a skee-ball guy? I'm, I'm, I'm mostly uh, the, the, the hoops the that's shot. trying to do the jump shots, and gotcha. I'm not good at it. I want, I want you to know that. And then lastly, this study that came out by Wallet Hub, right, said New Jersey is the number one state in the country. Were you at all surprised by the results of this? No, because we, we have been pouring uh, resources and attention to the things that make it the best state in America to live in. Uh, education, uh, health care, quality of life. Uh, and all at the same time trying to make the state as affordable as we possibly can make it. So I was gratified for sure, but not surprised.